In this video, we will show you how the variable sound cone adjustment of SICK ultrasonic sensors works and what they can be used for. The feature, variable sound cone adjustment, is used to adapt the width of the ultrasonic cone shape with the computer software Connect Plus. The sound cone can be widened or narrowed. The variable sound cone adjustment is available for several SICK ultrasonic sensors. In this video, we use the UM30 as an example. In our application model, we want to detect packages below acrylic glass and measure their distances to determine their heights. Here, we have mounted the sensor. Here, you can see the acrylic glass with a hole in the middle, through which the sensor will look. Below is the conveyor belt with the packages passing by. When we start the sensor, the display shows a measurement value of 316 millimeters. This is the distance between the sensor and the acrylic glass. Currently, in the default settings of the sensor, the sound cone is too wide to look through the hole in the glass. In order to measure through the hole in the acrylic glass, we must reduce the width of the sound cone. This can be done with the ultrasonic sensor software Connect Plus. After connecting the device, we have to click on Add On to see the advanced options. Then we set sensitivity to variable. Additionally, we now have the option to adjust these values individually. We can adjust the start and end value of the linear increase of echo amplification. In our application, we want to set the sound cone as narrow as possible to look through the hole. We set the value end to the highest possible value in order to have the lowest increase in echo amplification and thus in sensitivity and sound cone size. Then we write the data into the sensor. The measured value now shows 1071 millimeters, which is the distance between the sensor and the conveyor belt. This means that the sound cone is narrow enough to measure through the hole in the acrylic glass. But now, the sensor only detects and measures the distances to the objects placed directly under the sensor head. To include all the boxes on the conveyor belt, we have to go once more into the software Connect Plus. We set the start value of the amplification increase below the acrylic glass and the end value close behind to have the highest sensitivity below the glass. We set the start value to 550 millimeters and the end value to around 800 millimeters and send the data to the sensor. Now we can see that every package is detected and the distance is measured by the sensor. Thanks to the variable sound cone adjustment, we can detect and measure the distances of all packages on the conveyor belt to determine their heights for box classification. SICK ultrasonic sensors are very flexible in use and the variable sound cone adjustment provides even more versatility to perfectly adapt the sensor to your application.